welcome to today. Today is gonna be a good day. But Laura, you have your riding hair on, right? I have my riding hair on. Today is Sunday, it's a rest day, but not a rest day for the day by day family. You guys know uh, we always be doing something. Well, um, so today I got me supposed to have a lesson with Brandon and uh, Brandon canceled because Brandon is a busy guy and it's hard for him on weekends sometimes. But I am going riding and I have to get ready. So basically it is a rest day. We all agreed it's gonna be a rest day. And, but we still have to ride Chino, who's in an endurance program right now, and we have to ride Finny Boy. No, Finn's having the day off. And we have to ride Stormy Boy. We ride him two times a week, minimum. We try for three. Today is one of those days. Making sure there's no mice in my boots, because that would be so gross, you guys. If I did that, you would hear me scream. <laughs> Yuck. All right, no spiders. No mice, I can put them on. Anyways. We're just gonna go to the barn and ride our boys. And I'm gonna ride. I, I said I'll ride Storm because I miss it. I miss riding so much. And I don't wanna lose what I already gained. And we are gonna go back to the Pasofino farm. I know you're wondering. We are gonna do that. Uh, but I'm nervous to do it. I told you guys because they just believe I can ride there. They just are like, oh, she can ride. And then we gallop. And then I'm galloping. And then it always works out. But I feel a little nervous before. Like I have to plan for it. So. Anyways, let's go. We'll go to the barn and we'll see our boys. Wait, before we do that, um, I want to share with you guys some stuff that we couldn't fit into the vlog last night. We got home from the horse show and we celebrated Daisy's birthday. So I wanted to show you guys that because Dalmatians are funny little dogs. They are so funny and I wanted to show you guys what happened with Daisy and her presents. I hope you guys enjoy it and then we'll see you at the barn. We are home from the horse show. <laughs> yeah. I know, you're so happy to see me. Oh, okay. Well, one should be open first. It is Daisy's birthday. Happy birthday, Daisy girl. Oh, yes. Yes. I know. Uh oh. Here, I'll put a hole in it for you. Mom. She's opening it. I have to put a hole in it for her. Sorry, Macy. We have to video Daisy. Should I unwrap it for her? Yeah, just unwrap it. It's your birthday! Tag off of it first. <laughs> She's like, yay! More things for me to destroy. <laughs> I wonder what it's like when she, she takes everything to her crate. <laughs> Come on! I think we're going to do the treats next then the next one. Are they treats? Give her one. It's your birthday, you're one. Now she can get fixed. These are long. <laughs> right to her crate. I found a Macy size treat and she doesn't like it. I'm gonna start opening the last That's one. It's for you, for her birthday. Oh, I know, I know. She is a mama's girl, that's for sure. People are always telling me that Macy doesn't get enough attention, but she definitely does. I just don't video it. And then when Elizabeth comes over, she gets like 10 times out. Yeah, she loves Elizabeth. She loves Elizabeth. Yeah. Where is it? So the last present she is... this unicorn. This unicorn. Um. And she's still not back. <laughs> she's still in her crate. What's this? What's this? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. She's very ungrateful. Isn't she ungrateful? <laughs> Happy birthday, Daisy. <laughs> she runs right to her cake. Okay, hold up again. We're not at the barn, but I want to show you something. So Fiona showed me in her garden, she had some zucchinis. So I was like, wait, do I have some zucchinis? They're good at disguising themselves. And there's one there too. And over here we have a pumpkin. We have like a lot of stuff in here. I just can't see it because it's, oh my goodness. What the actual heck? Do you guys see that? Do you see it? That's a ginormous pumpkin. Or is it a watermelon? Wait, that looks like a watermelon. I really need to get over there and check my cucumbers, but I can't get back there. 
Um, okay, my garden is, uh, <gasps> my garden is full, you guys. I need to get down here and clean this sucker out. All right, let me see. I'm going in. I'm going in, you guys. All right. What am I seeing? No big cucumbers. My cucumbers are not doing awesome. But my zucchini and my watermelon. Okay, now to the barn. So, where's Gabby? Gabby's never here anymore. Have you guys noticed? We're going. She's slow. She's grouchy. Well, she's not always grouchy. But she's quiet. Gabby is quiet. And she, it's just like Sam. She doesn't really... Storm, look! Look, Storm, look! Oh, here you go. I got carrots. Here, give me Aww. Are you walking away from getting water? Yeah, you need some oh, fly spray, too. Just spit it all out. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does. Just wait. There you go. <laughs> let it. You gotta go for the walk. You want me to go with you? Well, I want to go so I can give Finn a carrot. Okay, I'll be in. I'll be in, Stormy. I might just wait here because if Chino comes back, there's a good chance that Finn will come back. And we're not riding Finn because after a show and after a trailer ride, like a long trailer ride especially, they always get the day off. Sophie parked Storm right in front of this big fan so he'd be nice and cool. And he is cool. He'd be loving it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Stormy's all tacked up. Sophie's going to ride him first. Because apparently I can't work out a horse. I can't work you out, Storm. And then I'm going to ride him second and cool him out. Because apparently I'm only the quality rider of cooling out, not the working out. And it's okay. I own it. Own the things that you do, don't do well. Because when you love yourself enough, you acknowledge the fact that you're not perfect. And you're never going to do everything perfect. And once you acknowledge that, then you never have to do everything perfect. All right, so she came in the back door. Were they in the back field? No. Over by the driveway? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go find Finny. Give him some carrots because he's a special oh, boy. I'm gonna turn the fan off for a minute. Okay. So I can okay. Gabby has, Sophie has to do a TikTok, you know. It's important, that's a carrot for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go around and try and give Finny a treat. But it won't surprise me if he sees Chino missing and then goes running all the way around. I got treats. Come on. Oh, you little brat. Finn. Come on, Finny. Come on. He's all alone. All alone, you guys. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, see? Horses are funny creatures. They like you to meet them halfway. Everything has to be a compromise. It can't just be about me winning. It has to be a win for them too. Horses are just like teenagers. You gotta meet them halfway. That's for you. Because you are such a good boy. Look how calm he is though. Good boy. You coming? Yeah? Look how good this boy is. Look how good he is. All right, last carrot. I brought a few carrots for him because I want him to know that he's special and he's important and we love him just for him. Even when we're not going to a show and even when we're not having a ride. I love Clover Finn. I love Clover Finn, yeah. So somebody said in the comments yesterday that maybe Finn was afraid of the tent by the end gate and I think that that's exactly probably what it was because he's not used to tents. But he will be, because Sophie's going to be going back there, showing more shows there. Although he stopped when I came to the gate. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going today, you know. You're okay. You don't have to go. That's okay, Finny Finn. You go eat your grass. Okay? Go eat your grass. Yeah. All right. See you later. All right, there goes Stormy Boy. We are super unorganized today. All Gabby's bits are in the van he's like oh i thought i was getting another day off so uh, we have been uh, we have chino on a program and i forget it fiona keeps reminding me yeah you're on a program you're on a program and it's something like three days flat 
and then one day jumping and then one day off i think that's what it is so like three wet blanket flat endurance rides like rides where he lots of walk lots of trot to build a lot of muscle some canter to help build him to help him build endurance and then a jumping day to solidify i guess his jumping so today is supposed to be his jumping day and a lesson with brandon but brandon had to cancel so we're just gonna do the best we can are you jumping today or doing another flat jumping. yeah he needs to have a jump so some of you guys are asking me when is his next trillium show you know the last one this weekend got canceled today got canceled for today so the next one is in two weeks and then I have to check and see when Sophie's next show is. She's going to try the jumpers again, you guys. She loves it. Finn loves it. And she's going to go for it. If I was Finn, I would set up a whole course and like practice being a jumper and just galloping the whole course. Yeah. But I opened the door. I opened the gate and Finn looked at the gate and turned around and walked away. He's like, I'm not coming today. He knows. I can frame it now because I walk. Him both ways. Yeah, storm, storm's going. So we don't ever ride a horse in a frame until they're warmed up because... Yeah, gave, Gabby gave me rules. Yeah. I have each way until I can trot. Well, not each way until I can frame. So I just did that. Okay. So now I can frame. All right. Go up there and, and ride, and then, sister. Yeah. He is so lazy. I just want to get on my pony and <laughs> fly I know, I know. It's true, I like a faster pony. I don't like a fast pony. You like, uh, I like a pony that moves because... You like a Chino. I like, I don't know, Chino? I never really rode Chino enough to like get a feel if I like him. But I think I would like him because he moves and he moves big strides like my horse. And so the bounciness teaches you to stay on better. Yeah, I don't like the bounciness. Yeah, but like Chino's speed. Yeah. All right, get moving. Get moving, sister. We don't have all day. Laura's got a garden to clean. have to chase horses and some horses just come to their owners come on pen Hello. come on some horses just come to their owners come on come on that's not your owner why well, you gotta make me look bad come on hey penny pickle penny penny oh I rode a boy today, Penny. He tried to buck me off. He doesn't uh oh. Gabby says he was crow hopping. But still, it's the same thing. Hey. Hey there, Missy. Look, I have a hole. Keep going to Willow. So last night. Sam was down here with the dogs and Daisy ran behind him and smashed into the back of his legs and he fell, which is not good. And then just now, the dogs were so excited, they were running down to the barn and then uh, Daisy ran into Ruby and Ruby screamed and Daisy ran back to the house and now we're back to, now we're back to being her being scared to come down to the barn. You see a pattern here? The problem is that when something happens, it causes her like a little bit of stress that she doesn't understand. She gets scared. So she gets scared. Being deaf makes her get scared more than normal dogs. Like having that extra sense makes it easier for you to figure things out. And that's what Daisy's whole life is about. It's about figuring things out. You guys, you know what I mean? Like 
she has to use her other senses to figure out every situation. So all she knows is that she was running down to the barn and she got hurt. She doesn't realize it was her fault because she was running, not watching where she was going and ran into Ruby. All she knows is that she was running to the barn and she got hurt. So now she's not running to the barn. So now I have to go up there and get her and bring her down to the barn, let her run, show her that it's okay to come to the barn again. Whoever would have thought that being in a barn would be scary. So I pulled up some of my carrots just to see how they were doing and dun -dun -dun -dun, I got miniature baby carrots. Pull up the carrots. They're not quite ready, but they're gonna be tiny. Can I wash those and then and eat them? I even got tiny green peppers. And then I got a bunch of little tomatoes. That's my haul for today. Starting though. I'm so, so sweating. It's so hot out there. But I also got, found four more um, watermelons. And that watermelon, I rolled it over. The other side's a little yellow still. I bet you like a few more days and that watermelon will be ready. And then the others will come after it. Can you wash these? You're supposed to plug one. I know. You're supposed to. Here, I'll show you. So you know who would love those uh, greens? The... Uh, Chickens? Yeah, the chickens and maybe so, even your... you're supposed to take one and pluck. Ah, that's what you do, eh? Yeah. But then just clean it. See, look at a nice little okay. snack. Mm -hmm. If anybody's on a diet, this is what's good for you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?